Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package. As always we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife, here is the Swiss knife. And we're going to unpackage it. Well boys and girls, what we have here is the Sekmi 1255 smartwatch. If you follow my videos, you probably remember that I once reviewed the Sekmi 1142, which looks identical to the Sekmi 1255 and is considered a very popular watch. This one takes the design of the Sekmi 1142, which I really liked, and adds to its smartwatch capabilities, which I will explain in this video review, and I'm intrigued to learn if these additions will prove to be worthy. So let's take a closer look at the Sekmi 1255. I received the watch only with the user manual in English that includes 18 pages which is a lot in my opinion. The watch itself is black, the case is made from plastic, the dial window seems to be made from resin glass, the band is made from rubber or silicon, and the dial rotates to the left but it doesn't give any added value other than generating a satisfying sound. The watch is supposed to be water resistant up to 5 atmospheres which are equivalent to 50 meters, but you know what? Though I didn't test it yet, I'm not sure if it's capable to cope with water. On the right side of the watch, there's 4 control buttons which I'm introducing from bottom to top. Button number 1, button number 2, button number 3, and button number 4. This one will illuminate for 2 consecutive seconds and turn on or off the Bluetooth connection by pressing it for 3 seconds. To turn the watch on or off, press buttons number 1 and 3 at the same time. When the watch is synchronized with your smartphone, it will automatically set the time and the date and update the data that it gathers in the relevant app. If you want to adjust the time when the Bluetooth connection is turned off, go to the normal time mode and press button number 2 for 3 seconds. Now you can adjust the time starting with the hours, minutes, seconds and 12 or 24 hours format. To switch between them press button number 2 and to adjust them press button number 1. If you want to adjust the date press button number 3 once then hold button number 2 for 3 seconds. To switch between the day, month and year press button number 2 and to define them press button number 1. The watch offers an alarm that will beep for 18 seconds when reaching the right time. It can be set using the app itself or by doing the following. Press button number 3 5 times, then hold button number 2 for 3 seconds, navigate between the options by pressing number 2 and adjust them by pressing button number 1. To save the settings of both the time, date and alarm, press button number 3 or just wait for 10 seconds and please note that you can only increase the numbers which can be annoying especially when defining the year as the calendars ranges from the year 2000 to the year 2049. To get into stopwatch mode press button number 3 6 times. To start and stop the smartwatch press button number 1. To reset it press button number 2. And you can also enable split count which I will leave to you to figure how to handle it. You can navigate between the different modes while the stopwatch runs in the background. Also the watch includes a pedometer to count your steps. You can check your steps count by pressing button number 3 twice. Another press will show you your calories count and another press will show you the distance you went. All those details are calculated during a period of 24 hours according to your profile that is updated in the app and will reset at midnight of the following day. The statistics constantly update in the watch itself but usually take several moments until the display shows the change. The data can be saved in the watch up to 21 days until you synchronize the watch with your smartphone. The app that synchronizes with the smartwatch is called XWatch and it's available for both Android and iOS devices. You can download it by either scanning the QR code that appears in the user manual or search for it on Google Play or the App Store. After installing the app you need to register in order to use it. In your first sign in you'll need to enter your personal details such as gender, date of birth, height, weight and health goals so the app will calculate the data that the watch gathers. For the watch to synchronize with the app you must enable the Bluetooth connection in both the watch and your smartphone or tablet. 
pair between the devices, go to the main menu, choose connect device, then choose to bind the new device and choose X watch. You only need to pair the watch once with your smartphone or tablet and from that moment it will connect automatically when launching the app. The main menu of the watch will display all the relevant info that was gathered for the current day and you can navigate between the different statistics of steps counted, calories burnt, time you walked and the overall distance you went. The other main screen will show you the history records and you can navigate between the different dates while receiving analysis and exercise tips. The watch is supposed to notify you on incoming phone calls, SMS messages and other social networks messaging texts such as QQ, WeChat, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp and Skype. To do that, go to the main menu and choose reminders. The watch can also operate as a shutter if you want to take a photo using your smartphone's camera. To do that, go to the main menu and choose camera. Both the reminders and camera features didn't work for me well. The watch didn't notify me about phone calls or messages that I received and the camera seems to take a photo but it doesn't appear anywhere on my smartphone, so I'm not sure if this is a problem with my smartphone or the app that can be solved by installing an update or there's any other reason for that but I will try to figure it out and update you about that in the description to this video. You can share your goals with your friends on various social networks by choosing moments in the main menu. This is a feature that I didn't try so far. Additional notes about the app. If you encounter difficulties to run the app properly, make sure it has a permission to operate on your smartphone and you can usually check that in the smartphone or tablet settings. The operating distance of the watch from the smartphone or tablet using the Bluetooth connection is up to 10 meters. The watch runs on operating current of 3 volts. If the battery's voltage is lower than 2.4 volts, a low battery icon will be flashing to remind you to change the battery. The battery's life is estimated between 6 to 12 months, depending on how you're using the watch. In the description to this video, you can find the user manual, which defines what are high, standard and minimum usage. Now let's go to the bottom line. The Sekmi 1255 is an affordable smartwatch that offers basic features as I showed you in this video. As a digital watch, it's a cool watch with a big and clear display and we already know that from the Sekmi 1142. As a smartwatch, well, it depends what you're looking for, because many people will be interested in the basic statistics it shows and you can find those statistics in similar smartwatches and smart bracelets that are sold for the same price or even less. The app itself is very simple and it's easy to use once you finish with the registration. It crashed several times but until today it happened to me with each of the smart devices apps I reviewed so far. So assuming you like its design and you're satisfied with the basic statistics this watch has to offer, then the main difference between this watch and other smart watches that use the Bluetooth connection is the battery. It's the first time that I get to review a Bluetooth device that operates using a normal battery and not a built-in rechargeable battery, though their battery has a larger capacity. I'm not sure exactly what's the reason for that, maybe it's the type of display, maybe it's the fact that it's lacking alarming vibrations or missing certain features such as sleeping monitor. I really don't know. On the negative side, eventually I will have to open the watch and replace the battery with a new one. But as for now, it looks too good to be true and I will be able to assess the battery consumption over time. Well boys and girls, this was my video review about the Sekmi 1255 smartwatch. For further information about this item, please check the description to the video and if you still have any questions about it, please comment on this video and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel's original video reviews OVR Kids and of course this channel OVR Fashion and there's also the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account so there's plenty ways for you to follow original video reviews. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye!